Thank you for wanting to contract with us for United Healthcare for your Med Advantage Part D and your MedSup contract. It's one contract with United Healthcare. It's not the same with all carriers. So some of them have all separate. United, it's one contract. So I have our contracting manager here, Lisa Glassburn. Lisa has been a marketer, so she knows what it's like to work with agents. She's also an agent, so she knows how frustrating it is when you get contracted and it takes forever. And a lot of times it takes forever because you, the agent, don't know what to expect and you didn't answer that email or you didn't click on that link or you didn't do something. So Lisa is perfectly experienced to be our contracting manager because she's been in every part of this business. So I'm going to ask you some questions to help people that are just now getting contracted. Okay. So we have uh, an agent that works by him or herself. Right. And they say, I want to get contracted. I've never sold United Healthcare. How long is this going to take me? Because I want to write somebody today. Right? We always get that. Absolutely. Well, you can't write someone today. It is a process. First, you will get an email from United Healthcare to start your contracting process. Now, once you, if you jump on that right away and you get that done the same day, in one to two business days, you're going to have a party ID. Once you get your party ID... Okay, so let's stop because people get confused. A party ID is not your agent ID. Correct. Party ID is just like your entry to get contracted and certified. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So you register your party ID, you get set up to do your certifications, you're required to do all of the prerequisite modules and one product module before you will be approved for your agent number. Okay, so in the old days, if you want to sign a contract, or like for example, if you want to sign a contract to sell a Medicare supplement with Mutual Omaha or Cigna, you just sign the contract right now. A lot of them are just in time, Medical is just in time, you can sell a case today. It's not the same with any Med Advantage company, okay? There's a longer process, we get the certification involved. So. You don't have to certify. When you log in, you'll see 15 different things right. that you could test on with United Healthcare. Well, you might say, I don't want to sell MedSup, or I don't want to sell Part D, or I don't want to sell dual special needs, or I don't want to do sales events. You don't have to take all those tests because a lot of agents log in and they're overwhelmed. Absolutely. And they like, forget it. Right. I'll just sell MedSup. Right. So you don't have to take all of those tests. You have to take the ones. All the for, what, for what you want to the exactly. prereqs and what you want to sell. Exactly. So if you're confused about what you want to sell, talk to your marketer because you probably don't want to go in selling everything if you're if you're first right. time. But you might be. You might be the guy that says, I live in a D SNP area and I want to go in selling D SNP. So you might want to do that. The typical agent is not going to touch D SNP events, right. MedSup, maybe not Part D. Right. Okay. Right. So they do the prereqs. Mm hmm and then what? Um, once all the cert certifications are done and their background check has been done, their background check's being done so simultaneously while they're doing their certifications. If they're missing any information or any Im additional information is needed, UHC will reach out directly to the agent. We are not involved in the background issues and they don't tell us when there's background issues. Okay. So time sometimes when there's a hang up, it's due to backgrounds. Right. It's typically a background. Right. So that's one of the things we like to talk to you about in advance, even though it can be a little uncomfortable. Do you have a tax lien? Are you being sued? Do you have a Do you major, money? Credit, major yeah, credit issues? Exactly. Right. Lots of things. Lots of things on your financial background. I mean, of course, if you have a felony and some of that's right. right. But on your financial background, if you've recently gone through a divorce or a bankruptcy, right. foreclosure, there's stuff that might prevent you from getting contracted right now. Now, we can help you rehabilitate your credit. It could take two to three months. We can help you through that process. But just to let you know, that could be a hang-up on getting you contracted right now. And you need to know that if you're an agency that contracts agents, you need to have that conversation with your agents in advance. Because otherwise, Absolutely. they spend a week and they're frustrated and they think mm -hmm. it's our fault. Right. And it's and it's important for them to have their um, supporting documents of any um, any issues that they would have available. If UHC reaches out to them, you know, the sooner they respond and provide them with the information requested, the sooner it's going to go through the process. So what I get a lot of times is I get an agent that says, oh yeah, that's nothing. Or I've already worked with my attorney and he said it's nothing. And so they are not responsive to the carrier. The carrier wants paper, wants a document, mm -hmm. wants to see the discharge. So don't just say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to have the supporting documents. Right. And UHC, um, and this is a new uh, procedure for them, they're actually reaching out to the agents and helping them through before it's sent to final backgrounds. This is preventing agents from being declined immediately. 
So they're helping them get everything in place so that to prevent declines. So, great. Okay. So once um, you pass your background and your certifications are complete, in three to five business days, you should have your agent number. Okay. So let's say your background's clean, mm -hmm. and once you get the email link from United Healthcare, you fill it out. You do it, everything as fast as possible. What are we still looking at? Two We're weeks? looking at even less than two weeks. Okay. I mean, we've had some go through just really fast because they're right on it. Um, United Healthcare has been pretty quick about getting party IDs out. Of course, that does vary when we get into A and P. And okay. So stop. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting at. Right. So it depends on the time of year, the time Absolutely. that you're contracting, how quickly you can get through. Best case scenario. So... If you're doing it January, February, March, April, May, June, it could be a week. It could Once be you two get weeks. into it, it could <laughs> be two weeks, but the quickest it could be might be a week. Uh, right, right. right. Seven to ten business days. Right. Or seven business days. Exactly. But after July 1st, it starts getting clogged because of the AEP traffic. Right. And it gets worse in August. Terrible in September. Absolutely. Horrendous in October. Impossible in November. Yeah, <laughs> and impossible in November. So you need, if you're an agency owner, you need to set the expectation for your agents. If they're coming in in January, it could be, it could be a week they could be selling. If they're coming in in September, it's going to be painful and long because everything's jammed up. Right. Okay. So once they get, once they're approved, what what do they get? They'll get the email directly from United Healthcare that tells them their agent number and tells them how to log in and register their number in their portal. And then they can go in and order supplies. Absolutely. So once you get appointed, that doesn't come to us, the FMO. That comes directly to you. So typically you're going to say, okay, now what? You can call us and then we can walk you through that step, help you order your supplies, do it for you, help you see how to go into the toolkit and see the approved marketing materials you, want, you might want to use. And then you might want to take some more tests, at that point, once you're already set up and there's less pressure, less speed, you might say, you know, I do want to sell the meds up. And then you can go in and do the MedSAP certification and get that turned on. Or you might want to add more things. Right. So we're here. Lisa has a whole team to help you on the contracting. If you have questions with United Healthcare Contracting or any of the 150 products that we offer at Gordon Marketing, call us. We know it's frustrating. We want to set your expectations at a realistic level so you know it's not 24 hours. It's not just in time like, like a lot of carriers. MedSAP, most life, most annuities. It's longer. But a lot of how long it is depends on you.